Hi, my loves. Jeray Malay to go from around the way where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with some commentary about Taraji at the BET Awards and Keith Lee. Now, before I hop into my commentary, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, go ahead and I'll wait while we pass the collection plate around, sister. Um, yeah, y'all, let's just hop into it because... Honestly, I feel like there are a few things that I want to discuss and unpack here because, you know, I feel like they turned, you know, 10 into 20 real quick. So if you don't know, um, Taraji P. Henson was the host of the BET Awards. I believe this was the fourth time in a row or fourth year that she was in charge of hosting the BET Awards. Now, I want to say a couple of things right now. Taraji has really been that girl when it comes to hostings. I feel like she does a good job. I also like when, um, what's those girls? Tachina Arnold and Tisha Campbell host. I think they host the Soul Train Awards, okay? I'm all for our legends, our beloved stars, you know, our hosting because, Listen, Black Hollywood is not all all the ways, all the time. She's checking for them. So, girl, get your coins by any means. And I also want to just say that I like and enjoy the fact that Taraji came back out swinging. You know, I feel like there was a lot of commentary and conversations about the fact that she was looking like a stuffed sausage um, in the last few times that we've seen her on the red carpet. Now, Taraji came back with a, a snatch back, snatch back, snatch back. Okay, get back, get back. I love that for her, you know, so she looks great. She came out, she did her thing, but there were some flaws. I mean, I, I saw somebody on Twitter say to Roger done took that, uh, Suge, uh, Suge Avery alcoholic, uh, you know, character to heart. That's why she gained all her weight and she was too drunk at the BET Awards. Now, listen, I'm not up here trying to shame this lady because, you know, Taraji is one of our beloved stars. Is she not? I mean, come on, let's call a thing a thing. We love Taraji and we're here for, you know, we're here for it. So, um, you know, long story short, she, you know, had this quick little dialogue with, you know, people in the crowd and this and the third to which she was complimenting men and everything like this. One of the men being Keith Lee. Now we know that Keith Lee is not a stranger to controversy. You know, he will call some people out. He is known for calling some people out. And this is kind of what he did with Taraji. Okay. And he was there with his wife. Um, apparently y'all Keith Lee has, um, autism. I did not know that he mentioned, you know, having social anxiety, which, you know, a lot of us suffer from that. So it is what it is. I think this plays a part of how he responded to the situation. Now, um, before I finish my commentary, let's just play what happened. So that way we can have a full picture and understand it. Cause you know, whatever the case may be, let's just get into it. Okay, so as you see, you know, she was going around the audience and giving men um, their flowers and everything like this, which I think is a cute gesture. She was able to kind of save that moment. Obviously, um, Keith Lee was not, who, you know, she was talking to. And, you know, Keith accepted the flower in the moment. However, he had some things to say after it was all said and done because he had posted a video of him dropping the flower um, onto the floor. Let me just, let's just play it right here. Let's get into it. Only that, in my opinion, she smoked it last night. I don't think for one second Taraji had any ill will or any ill intentions behind the situation. The situation happened the way it did. It is what it is. I made a video last night where I had the rose that was given to me in my hand and I let it fall on the floor. The reason I did this had nothing to do with Taraji P. Henson. The reason I dropped it on the floor is that I wholeheartedly believe that wasn't my rose. That wasn't my rose. That wasn't my moment. It was given to me, but it wasn't mine. And I always say, I don't want nothing that ain't mine. I want was meant for me, nothing less, nothing more. The entire segment on the production side felt extremely rushed. Not only did it feel rushed, it did not feel intentional. It did not feel purposeful. I'm forever thankful for every room that I'm in. I was more than thankful and more than grateful to just sit there and enjoy the show. Me and my wife, we looked amazing. We felt amazing. We was enjoying the show. I've always spoke about my social anxiety. And for me, just to get out and be in that moment was more, more than enough for me. So to take me last night was the BT Awards. And right now...
Okay, so we see how Keith Lee responded to that situation that happened. Um, he accepted the roles during the live bit of the show, but later on took to his TikTok to show him dropping a rose. Now, if you ask me, that is a bit dramatic. Wait, before I get into my commentary, let's see what Mr. Raji had to say. Now, she she responded you know, today underneath, uh, I think the neighborhood talk, she said her piece, um, you know, he came out the day after the BET awards and I didn't want to talk about it. Cause I wanted to see if Ms. Taraji would address it. Um, I, I, I think that we, we understand, we know what the Keith Lee effect is, but it don't work on celebrities, Keith. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> now we're talking about the food. That's one thing we're talking about customer service. That's, that's another, um, but let's, let's get into what Ms. Taraji had to say. She says, life really is too short for this behavior. Okay, I agree. Because shout out to um, Kiki. I know Kiki from Love and Marriage Huntsville uh, was found past or, you know, she transitioned. She's no longer here with us in the physical. Um, I think I want to talk about that separately. But life really is too short for this behavior. He wasn't in his seat. They give celebrity assigned seats. I rehearse all damn day to go hit my mark. And that young man wasn't in his seat. So he missed his moment. His ego is hurt. He will be fine. I cleaned it up at the end of the show. No love lost here. Hashtag God bless. Green heart emoji. Green heart emoji. Green heart emoji. Brown skin shade prayer hands. Brown skin shade prayer hands. <laughs> Y'all know how to sense. Mm. So this is what Taraji had to say. Now that was a little that was a little shady, Miss Pen uh Miss P. Henson, because you know, he missed his moment, right? Because what Keith Lee said in his um video was a little longer than what I have to show y'all. He also goes on to say, like, you know, um, you know, they were rushing me, they moved me in one seat, they put me into another seat in the set the third. And I think that, you know, Taraji didn't focus on the fact that how Keith Lee was pretty much blaming production, BET's production. And I want to just make it a go a step further and say, who are the fucking writers? Let's also talk about the writers because as you guys are writing these cute, witty jokes for Taraji P. Henson to say, I mean, like nobody's considering that Keith Lee is a um, married man and not married in the sense of like how, what's that black man that was out here with the bonnet of salvation girl, his wife. And this is the helmet of salvation. Y'all know who I'm talking about. That big black man who was out here scamming everybody. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He's not married in that way. Keith Lee is, is a family brand. Yes, he is a food critic. Yes, he is a former MMA fighter and everything like this. But Keith Lee also has merch that he sells. That's family. You get what I'm saying? And it's like spelled F-A-M-L-E-E. -E. His family is very much a part of his brand. Now, I just think that this is lazy writing. I think that it's lazy production. I think that it's people who are like, oh, let's just get something really hot and put it all together. And I promise you, it's some people behind this because anybody who really knows and, and has their ears to the streets knows that Keith Lee, you know, although very handsome, is married. He's a married man and it's a part of his brand. I don't expect to Raji P. Henson to know all of those details because I mean, like, you know, obviously she's a Hollywood, black Hollywood elite. But a regular person who is a producer or a writer or whatever should have known that before writing that kind of joke. Now, um, the whole thing about being like in this missed moment, you know, I, I think that it's unfortunate. I think that um, Taraji took it as a personal attack. And I think that Keith Lee was trying to say, um, you know, it, it was really more or less the pr pr the producers, the production or whatever. Now, this whole idea that I have social anxiety and I could have just sat there and I didn't really want to. Um, I'm sure that they invited him out and flew him out. Maybe he didn't know he would be a part of the show. And, you know, those things kind of happen on the fly. But you are in, you know, the limelight, Keith. And you're going to a live recorded award show. So, I mean, yeah, you should probably have expected to perform in, in a sense. And I, and I know that perform is a, is, a, is a different kind of word because, you know, he's not performing. He is, you know, a food critic and, and a celebrity or social light or, you know, whatever the case may be. But there is a level of performance that goes on to when you have any type of notoriety or public, you know, 
persona, if you will. So he should have been expecting that, you know, to say that I have social anxiety. I mean, so does Summer Walker. She gets up there and she sings her songs and she does her dance. Not for nothing. And, and I, and I want to be mindful about being, um, you know, respectful of people and their mental health. Mental health is very real, y'all. You know, I, I want you, I want y'all to hear me loud and clear when I say that. However, there is some sort of um, expectancy that you need to have if you are in the limelight. And I feel like, you know, she caught him off guard and his wife was there and he responded in the way that he responded. Now, listen, give him giving, getting the rose or whatever the case may be. That was one thing. I think him dropping the rose and, you know, making this big commotion on TikTok, knowing that, you know, he has a huge platform and a following that was a little dramatic for me. It was a little dramatic for me. And then the explanation of it was, oh, because it wasn't my moment. Now, he was better off just saying I dropped the rose because she was trying to push up on me in front of my wife and I'm riding for her. That would have sat better because that's for real. You ain't want to take that rose because, you know, you want to put on for your, for your, for your big mama. I get it. Sister. You know what I mean? Do what you got to do. That's your family at the end of the day. And that makes total sense. But just to be like, oh, it wasn't my moment. It wasn't. But if you knew that you were supposed to be in a seat and you weren't in that seat and then it came out to be in the way that it did, I mean, call the thing a thing. You dropped that rose because, you know, you felt like it was a little disrespectful to your wife. I could have ate that. Right, y'all? I mean, I just feel like that was more realistic than to say, oh, you know, like it wasn't my moment. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't here. I wasn't, you know, I, any room that's going to be for me, it's going to be for me. I don't think that it was even that. The fact that they even included Keith Lee and, and, and you know, put him a part of the show says enough that it, it was a moment for you, Keith. What are we talking about here? <laughs> like they invited you there and then they, you know, had a joke or Taraji was, you know, rehearsing and you were a part of the monologue. You were supposed to be there. You were uncomfortable with the fact that, you know, she gave you that rose in front of your wife and, you know, the backlash. Because y'all saw what he said, not Taraji messing up names and, you know, pushing up on Keith in front of his wife. I mean, you was repping your girl. And and honestly, I feel like the dropping the rose thing is so dramatic because anytime that we see dropping a rose or a rose falling in slow motion, girl, we think of Selena, Selena Enos Dinos. You feel what I'm saying? Late at night when all the world, like, come on now, be so fucking for real. He did not have to go to that extreme. Taraji is also too now trying to defend herself. And I just think that it makes for... um unnecessary dialogue about a moment that should have been cute and, and, and quick and whatever. Now, I that's just what I feel. I'm curious to know who do you think is right in this? Do, are we siding with Keith or are we siding with Taraji? Um, I feel like Taraji maybe overreacted with the whole ego thing. I think it was more or less, girl, this is my wife and I'm riding with her. I think it was more about that. Let me know what you think. Drop down in the comments. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light, girl. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.